Hello everyone and welcome to another Microsoft 365 video. On today's episode I will talk about Microsoft Lists and the new board view updates that were recently added as part of the new layout that is being rolled out worldwide for Microsoft Lists. So the board view is a type of view that you can create in Microsoft Lists when you have a choice column in your list. But if you are not familiar with it yet, let me quickly show you how you can create one in your list. So to create a new view with a new layout, you need to click in this plus icon next to the view tabs. And once in the create view pop up, you need to provide a name. Um, this one will be just board. And in the show as, you have the possibility then to select the board. And when you do that, you need to select one of the available choice columns in the list. In this particular case, there are two columns, priority and status, and what we will use is the status to create the board. Hit the create button and immediately you will see different buckets with the tasks there are the list items in those buckets. And to move things around and to change the status of one of these tasks, for example, if this that is in progress um, is now completed, all I have to do to change the value on the status column is drag and drop it to the next bucket. And this way I'll be changing the values behind the scenes. So if I switch Back here to the all items, you will see that this one is now uh, completed. And I did that just by drag and dropping the uh, list, the item into the new bucket. So this is the board view that was introduced two years ago already into Microsoft lists. And one of the things that was quite annoying was the unassigned items column that was visible in the old layout of Microsoft Lists. And I got a few requests about how to get this removed. And just to show you, one of them in the original post that I wrote about two years ago, there's one person asking for this um, functionality just a couple weeks ago and back then I, I didn't have yet this functionality in my uh, list so I told that person that was impossible but well now it is and I will show you how you can easily get rid of buckets from the layout especially the unassigned and that is the only thing that you need to do to hide it is simply click in the three dots that appear when you over the bucket and click the hide option or in the show hide uh, buckets and then unassign the um, desired buckets if you want to remove more than one uh, if not then just choose the hide hit the apply button and it gets removed immediately from the board so no more unassigned items lane here for you to drag the items into. This is particularly important for scenarios where you change the type of column uh, and you require now the column to be mandatory. There's no point in having the unassigned items there if the users cannot drag them into that uh, bucket. The other feature that I want to show you is the way to create new buckets for you to uh, move tasks uh, around. And that is super simple to do. All you have to do is click in this add new bucket option, type a name, this will be just demo. And when you do this, uh, what is happening in reality behind the scenes is that you are adding new choice options to the status. So if I go here to the status um, and if I add it, you will see that the demo became a new choice in this column. And that's what that option did. You may not like it. If you want to keep more control over your list, I personally find it super useful, especially when I'm building new lists and I don't have yet all the possibilities when I create a column. If I'm working already in the board view, then I can simply go there. There's a new um, value that I want to have as, uh, as a, a lane, as a bucket. I simply go to the, the board view and add that value and start dragging uh, the items. So this is everything that was added 
to the board view. Hope you liked it. If you want to learn more about Microsoft Lists or if you are just getting started, I recommend you to have a look to my book about Microsoft Lists. It starts with the very basic concepts and it ends with the most advanced customizations that you can do in Microsoft Lists. So if you want to learn more about Microsoft Lists, link is in the description. Make sure you subscribe. Hope you enjoy this video. Hope you learned something new today. See you next time. Bye-bye.